As somebody who's been reviewing games for 20 years, I am painfully aware that there's still a lot of people out there that think that video games are for kids. Obviously, this is something that I reject, as gaming is for everybody. However, I had a depressing thought while playing through the new rhythm game Gemino's Animal Pop Stars. Yeah, I may, in fact, be too old to play this game. This bright and aggressively upbeat minigame collection mixes elements from titles as disparate as Rock Band, Cooking Mama, and Fruit Ninja, all while looking and sounding like something that might come on right after Paw Patrol. It's a game that was clearly made for young girls who want to dance in front of the TV and dress up a bunch of gem-nosed animals. Guys, what am I doing with my life? If you're wondering who or what the Geminos are, then you've come to the right place. They're incredibly talented animals with gems for noses who love to dance, dress up, cook, and play games. Obviously. We're introduced to these musical animals by Nimi and her sister Smudge, a pair of young girls who dream about traveling to every corner of planet Geminos in an effort to form an international band and share their love of pop songs with cultures around the world. This sets up a globe-trotting adventure where we follow the band's rise to stardom by playing through nearly 60 stages full of mini-games that span a whole bunch of different genres. Although there's a lot going on in this game, Geminos largely revolves around the band playing their 19 songs in a number of gigs. This is probably the most consistently entertaining part of the game, as it gives you a chance to wave your arms around in order to hit the notes and play along with the inspirational pop hits. These rhythm game sections aren't all that different from a lot of music and rhythm games, as you'll need to move the Joy-Cons around in order to play the note in time with the song. There are high, medium, and low notes for both the left and right controllers, so you'll need to hold your arms up when the high notes come or down for the low notes. The game wants you to make aggressive waving motions, just like you're dancing a lot. But in reality, there's no need for that. A slight movement up or down is usually enough to keep the note chains going from beginning to end. Now, in case you haven't figured it out by now, Geminos makes the most out of the Switch's motion controls. Not just when you're pretending to play the saccharine sweet pop songs, but also when you're decorating each animal's room and playing the different minigames. When you're not rocking out with the band, you'll be off making food based on the popular dishes from around the world. This means that you'll need to wiggle and waggle the Joy-Cons in order to flip dough, mix ingredients, use the oven, and decorate cakes. Another mini-game will have you moving the cursor around the screen trying to collect these musical notes found in the clouds. There's also a Fruit Ninja parody where you have hack and slash muffins and other baked goods that fly through the air. And if that's too challenging for you, then perhaps the Cake Detective game is more your speed. This is a mode where you use a magnifying glass to identify the hidden objects in the bakery. Something so easy that it actually comes off as a little insulting. The rest of the game focuses on the fashion and design elements, which end up being a big part of Geminos. You'll need to style each animal to their liking, as well as redecorate a bunch of different bedrooms found in the Popstar Mansion. A massive building the band inexplicably decides to buy when they only have a couple of dozen fans and not a single hit song to their name. It's the kind of fairy tale pop star life that only makes sense in a young child's imagination. If you're looking for the road band struggle of playing dive bars, cover songs, and getting screwed over by a major label, then you should probably stick with Rock Band 4 instead. From a musical perspective, I'll give Geminos credit for coming up with a bunch of original songs. I mean, none of the songs found in the game are going to break the top 40 anytime soon, but they're all upbeat and inspirational in that kids show sort of way. We get songs telling you to keep your eye on the prize. May all your dreams come true. Be who you want to be. I am your friend. I am your sister. And nothing matters when we get together. 
there are very few songs about just music and dancing. Because pretty much every pop hit found in this game comes with some sort of empowering message. Because this is aimed squarely at children, you occasionally see the attempt to do something educational. You see that in the different kinds of dishes that you cook up in the kitchen, or the world music that we're briefly introduced to when we meet each new character. Of course, none of that influence ends up changing the sound or the style of the music, which is decidedly pop. It's almost as if the game is making the point that no matter who you are, where you come from, or how unique your culture is, the music industry will grind you down and use your talent to make more generic pop songs. I'm not sure that was the point the developers were trying to make, but it's certainly the most truthful part of Gemino's. Just about the only time the game bothers with the whole world music thing is when you're forced to take part in a mashup. This is what I like to call a Gemino speed bump. It's this reward that you get for completing just about every level that has you spin in a giant wheel to mash up two different styles of music. It's this time-consuming cinema where you hear the same song repeated over and over again as you create these weird mashup animals. It's fine the first few times, I guess, but you'll watch the same cinema dozens of times with no way to speed it up or to skip it entirely. It's always the same group of songs and the same group of dances, which is just one of the reasons why I started to loathe spinning that wheel. I can respect them wanting to introduce kids to South African spuja or Spanish flamenco, but it would have been better to hear those elements come through in the actual songs. Look, I get it. Geminos is not aimed at me. This is a game designed with pre-teen children in mind, and I am a full-grown man. If you have a young child who loves cute animals and annoying pop songs, then they may have a lot of fun waving their arms around to the music and preparing the different meals. The rhythm game bits are fun for what they are, and most of the rest of the mini-games are inoffensive on their own. The problem is the game is too easy and incredibly boring. You really have to go out of your way to screw up any of the minigames, which makes the entire experience feel slow and plodding. I mean, I probably could have played through the entire game in one sitting, but I kept getting too bored after only a few levels. And it's not just the repetition that ruins the fun, but also the terrible motion controls. A few times I'd miss a note while playing a gig, it was always because the Joy-Con didn't register my movement. The inconsistent motion control also makes the cooking sections needlessly frustrating, since it's not always clear what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, and then there's the Fruit Ninja ripoff with the cupcakes. All you'll need to do is swipe left, right, up, and down. But you'll constantly miss pastries because the motion controls on the Joy-Con simply aren't up for the task. Also, just on a side note, I found that Gemino's was frustratingly unstable. In my rise to superstardom, I had the game crash on me a total of seven times. That's seven times in only a matter of hours. 
I suppose the good news is that you don't lose any progress when the game suddenly shuts off. But yeah, it's still annoying and definitely needs to be fixed. Ugh. On the other hand, I'd probably take the game crashing on me a few more times than watching another one of those damn mashups. Guys, I never want to see any of those animals dancing ever again. If you grew up playing the Nintendo Entertainment System, PlayStation, GameCube, or even the Xbox 360, then let me tell you, you're too old to enjoy Gemino's animal pop stars. With the endlessly cheery music, empowering message, simplistic mini-games, and emphasis on dress-up and decoration, this is a game that's really only for the younger set. But even if your kid loves cute animals and generic pop songs, they'll ultimately grow bored of the easy difficulty and constant crashes. Uh, I don't know, if you're trying to introduce your kid to world music, then maybe it's worth doing it with gem-nosed animals. But everybody else should skip their world tour. Hey, thanks for watching our review. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new reviews and features almost every day. Now, here's the question I have for you. What is your favorite rhythm game? Look, I'm partial to the Rock Band series, but you know, it doesn't have to be one of those band simulators. A lot of people love Parappa the Rapper, Guitaru Man, Dance Dance Revolution, and all kinds of other unconventional rhythm games. Let me see your picks in the comments below. In other news, we're going to have a packed week ahead of us, including reviews of Paradise Lost, Genesis Noir, Record of Lotus War, The Fabled Woods, and oh my goodness, a whole bunch more. If that sounds good to you, then I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.